day to day work, uh, I'd say it gives me that that moral compass, it gives me those guidelines uh, of of where to to play within uh, within those rules. Um, definitely, it's my key motivating factor. It keeps me going. So just um, taking in my work, I do a lot of intense uh, casework. I deal with the worst that society has to offer. So. You need those fires to be rekindled every now and then, and my faith does that for me. Uh, so I had that the typical uh, sort of ethnic push of becoming either a doctor or a lawyer, because uh, yeah, I went to school in the, in the 90s. And I actually embodied that, and I wanted to be a doctor, and I think that was just ingrained in my head, and that's what I wanted to do. Um, it's a bit hard then telling your parents, guess what, uh, I think I want to be a police officer. So that was a huge challenge to overcome uh, because I could feel I disappointed my parents in that way, even though I finished my university qualifications, I mean I finished my degree, um, and used my degree to get me a scholarship into the police force. Again, alhamdulillah, over time people have seen that if anything, uh, I can enter areas where if you're, not, if you're not a police officer you can't, I can assist in ways, and I have assisted in ways uh, that you, I never could have achieved without being inside inside this machine. So, but that's something. It's a stigma that's still attached, um, and it's that street mentality that I always have to come across. Um, why are you with them? Are you against us? You know, are you snitching on us? Are you this, 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 this? So, it uh, it's hard to fight that battle daily. Recently, I've come to the realization that. There's three main generations I see for the um, Australian Muslim community. There's my parents' generation. That The good thing about them was they were the pioneers. They opened up some doors, so we had organisations that never existed sprung up because of that generation. Uh, unfortunately, our generation also not only had to deal with that positive, but we also dealt with the negative of inheriting their enemies, their complexities, their biases, uh, and more, most importantly, we're, we're a we suffer the consequences of their egos. Um, I see our generation as having to be the ones that uh, are holding up that ceiling um, for the generation under us to, to move up. And um, in terms of seeing my place in that scheme, I, I want to be that person holding up that ceiling for that generation to keep, to keep moving up. I want them to you know, have that boost but I'd like them to have my permission before they step on my head to get up there. Uh, other than that, it's all good. And it was a great honour because I received um, uh, one of the highest uh, accommodations you can get and I was the first Muslim and first Arab to receive uh, the, the Commissioner's Medal of Courage and that was for um, saving a family uh, from their father, unfortunately their father decided to commit suicide and uh, he'd uh, poured petrol all over the house and when I came through the door he lit up himself and the entire house. I jumped on him and me and my partner uh, took it, pulled out, like stopped him and we got burnt a bit in the process but we stopped the, the fire from spreading and we, and we saved him and saved uh, the family. So that was one of those things that stands out in my mind and one of the very few times we actually got recognised for doing, for doing something. So yeah.